Welcome back everybody. Today I wanted to show you something I've been working on. This is a test platform. So as you can see it's my planet racer. And what I've done is I've put a load of, um, um, I've put a logic system in there with a clock. It's firing some missile launchers. We've got some various different colors. It's a very small, very small system. I've just built it off the back and made it kind of like a little tadpole. And it fires missiles upwards. So I'm going to show you that now. There's two switches behind the seat. We've got the one on the left and the one on the right. If I just push this one, it'll only fire once. This is one firing sequence. So then I've worked out what the reload is on that and put the, that's how long the first timer is. Because there's a clock break timer on here, it'll only run the circuit once unless this is also on. So now if I just run that again, off it goes. And now it'll run this continuously. So of course you can set this to AI if you want. And uh, it's a little fireworks sort of deal. They're only four block long. Uh, the groups and they're using a 75% effect I think or maybe 60 I only did it mostly for show just because you know it was a fireworks display really but it can be scaled up each one does 150 damage and the readouts displayed on the top so you know exactly when they're going to cycle I like myself to spin while I'm doing it bit more random but yeah it's a really nice little ship and I'm gonna scale it up now so let's get started okay so here I have the uh, guts I've extended the power a little bit because I'm gonna be building this out a little bit more today but I uh, just wanted to show you the um, setup for the wiring so obviously when you're in your chair you activate this is the brake switch so that puts an input to the and and then over here we have the actual timer. So when we start the timer off, I've taken all the weapons away. It goes through a timer, which is equal to the reload. And then it goes fire, 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 fire on each of the weapons computers. And then it hits the end, and because the position is on, it allows the loop to continue until you turn off this. And that kills it dead at the end of that firing cycle. So that's pretty much all you need to know about that really. It's just a big old loop. So there, all the way through to here, pass through, comes back and into the and. And then on this side, this activation goes into the and as well. That's all. And that's it. So if I was to, that's my master computer there. I can now start putting down the D1000s again and uh, we can build this out a little bit. Flak cannon. I think I'm going to load up some music. What's the button for free camera? Huh? What's the button for free cam? Uh, you mean the double shift? That doesn't work anymore. She's um, You can get something similar to build mode without the user interface by doing uh, tab F11.
Well, no, I'm getting to the point of ship construction where I'm starting to add the main cannons. I don't want the temptation to shoot people who come to see what I'm doing. Oh. Because you guys have no idea how tempting it can be at times. Oh, well, with the past Lack of self-control equals don't go there. Yeah. Channel on Disney. I don't know, mate. Party? I'll have a party? Yeah. I mean, I'm having, I've been having a party for Probably ages. This has got more power now. I just don't know how strong they are. I can't see how much they're hitting for. <laughs> I like Except it. Except the fact that I'm not sure how much damage they do, and I don't want to find out. They do a thousand per hit. Uh... I don't want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll I probably could take it, but my shields not so much. Sorry, my turrets. Oh my god, we have a taco in here. 